Hey, Eric again. I'm going to do a quick pattern and show you how I do it. This is going to be for a pancake style cross draw. So uh, here we go. The gun is my PCR, of course. Um, I like file folders for this. They're cheap and they're rigid enough that I can use them for I don't know, 500 patterns. Now this is for a right-handed cross draw. The gentleman wants the sight line to basically go up to the center of his chest. Um, worn at about 10, 30 or 11 o'clock. So not a real severe cant, but a fairly severe cant. Now the problem you're gonna have can see it okay perfectly fine the problem he's gonna have is if with any cross draw cross draws can be vertical to almost 45 degrees okay he wants enough can that it's easy to come out of the holster while he's driving say but he still wants to be able to get a grip on the gun so we don't want this is an inch and a half belt line that I draw in my patterns he still needs to be able to get a grip on the gun. So I'm thinking that right there should balance out quite nicely. Um, anyway, obviously the first thing I'm going to do is draw the gun. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to get an idea of what the gun looks like so I can get a decent pattern um, if you've watched my videos or paid attention to me on uh, the website I like nice flowing round shapes so where I start with these this is a pancake so I'm going to freehand the edges of the holster where my belt slots go. Now this does have a sight rail. For God's sakes, people, if you're going to draw a pattern, make it so you don't have to alter it. Um, draw it with the, the uh, sight rail on the gun. Sorry, Star Trek Next Generation's in the background, or Castle. So, anyway, I like that. I can put my slots fairly close to the gun. I can freehand my slots in a little bit, like right here. Now, keep in mind with a cross draw holster, this is going to sound weird. Um, this side, when this is on the belt, is going to be pulled in. So even if this looks like it's going to be really close, it really won't be. Um, you'll have to see what I mean. Anyway, this may or may not be the final pattern that I use, but it's going to give you an idea of how... To do this now since this is going to be against the body the back panel I do want to come up behind the beaver tail and the slide back panels are a pet peeve with me I see back panels that are drawn clear out here and the whole idea of a back panel or a, a sweat shield, a body panel, a, you know, a bodyguard, whatever you want to call it, is you don't want to have it get in the way of getting a full purchase on that weapon. So if you can see where my hand is, you want that body panel to follow that beaver tail fairly closely. So anyway... And this should work out quite nicely. I don't want to take it higher than normal for a cross draw. Because frankly, this guy might have a gut. And if I draw this clear up here, 
okay? Where there's nothing for this to press against, it's gonna fold over. So for cross draws, it's really critical that you just cover what you need to cover. So, and you guys know me, I like my uh, sweat shields to be as wide as possible. I could bring it up here like this, and it's gonna be this wide, and it's gonna be six to seven or seven to eight ounce steer height, and within no time at all, it's gonna get floppy. So I want this to have some width, which is gonna give it some strength. So I mean, that might be a little excessive. Um, but that, I don't know, I like that. That has enough width that it has probably adequate strength. And see, this is the fun you can have with patterns. There, there really are no rules. Um, anyway, I mean, just looking at that, that's the angle the guy wants. If this tucks into the belt, that should give him enough clearance to actually get a grip on the gun. And my beaver tail might need a little work. Excuse me, my body shield. Bring that up like that. I want my nice flowing line. Now I can bring that down to meet up with this line. Anyway, my stitch line will generally be something like this. And if you've seen my pancakes, I will double it up to about here and then of course this goes around the perimeter like this so and that's the back panel because it's got the body shield now for this here's something to keep in mind this is a double stack gun alloy frame steel slide it's got 14 or 15 rounds of 9 mil plus one in the tube uh, the weight's going to be up fairly high, okay? With guns like an HKP-7 or a CZ-83, um, 380CZ. Any gun that's short-muzzled and has a lot of weight up at top, this is a good rule to follow, okay? I want to round this out. Um... The front panel, I will play with now just to give you an idea. This gun, I mean a normal pancake would be like this. Okay, here's the belt line. You've got a lot more gun below the belt line to create a good center of gravity. It's going to carry very balanced. This isn't. So we're going to give this as much help as we can. I'm going to draw the front panel something along the lines of this. I'm going to bring this clear, clear up here. Now I don't want to interfere with him getting a grip on the gun, which the front panel could if I designed it improperly. So, I mean, I could bring this up here, but frankly, that I think is high enough. It should give the gun enough support, and if the molding's there, it should work out pretty well. Anyway, my slots are fairly tight to the gun. It's not too wide. It's not going to be intrusive. One thing you need to think about with cross draws is... Is there a point down here that's going to jab the guy in the gut or in the leg? Um, my body shield is going to be just 
big enough to cover the beaver tail, but you don't want that excessive, you know, amount of material up here that literally the first time he wears it and sweats, it's going to fold over. It's going to, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. So don't do that. Shame on you. Anyway, that right there is where I'm going to, I'm going to cut this out and I think that's going to be good enough to use. So anyway, there you have it. A cross draw pancake pattern for a CZ PCR. And uh, hope that helps some people. Thanks.